Hi. Uh, so, sorry. I so, we wanted... guys, uh, we have here Fawaz Jalil, and he is uh, he has published uh, two short stories. Like one of the his latest book is uh, the Legend of Beerbell's book. So we are going to do. Uh, he's uh, he's a very good author. Like we will try to understand like his story and uh, what the readers can expect from his book. Yes, Fawaz, up to you. Thank you, thank you, Abrar. So uh, the from the Legend of Beerbell's Bull was actually a try in a genre which I found, uh, which I got to know recently, and I started reading uh, about called magic realism. Uh, so magic realism as a genre is not explored a lot. Like of course, a famous book would be like. Midnight Sillen by Salman Rushdie, which is a prime example of magic realism, or The Big Fish. So what uh, the genre? I mean, I'm sure everybody knows what the genre is. Basically, in in the whole real real in the whole space of reality, you add a character to it, which is probably out of the world. You know, basically creating a spark of magic in reality. So uh, from the uh, the Legend of Beerbell's Bull basically is uh, trying to you know get in uh, Beerbell, who was a mantri in uh, Raja Akbar's uh, court. and put him in a contemporary situation and uh, you know use him to actually talk about a topic which plagues india like i mean uh, the topic what i address here is abuse against women and but the character but the the interesting part is the book has no women characters so the challenge here was to actually play around a topic which is about uh, uh, violence and abuse against women without a single woman character and, uh, and not that uh, the characters are all male also in that so the use is you know a, a bull and a cow uh, to say the story so i mean it's sign kind of a satire with a spark of magicalism thanks to uh, so, so i think that is a very interesting way you are telling a story and you are also trying to put around uh, an important message like uh, 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 supporting like this should uh, there should not be a particular type of violence against women like that so yeah that is yeah. where i think you are doing and i think like it is like a I like a book with having a, a particular cause that you are doing so just tell me like uh, regarding like uh, when did you get interested to write a book and like uh, uh, like what are the other authors who have influenced you okay so i think uh, everybody who uh, reads a lot at some point i feel has an aspiration to write i think uh, when i started reading i mean i think i started reading on school time and then there are these uh, short story contest and stuff that happen in school and that happen uh, multiple places you participate and you try your luck you know sometimes you win something you get a confidence but more than all that stuff i think the first uh, this thing was when i uh, started reading uh, a lot and of course i started with uh, smaller stories like you know an oliver twist or you know stuff like that you know which which are given to children uh, at that age and then um, as i grew up uh, i i started reading uh, different genres so i was introduced to marcus and i read uh, love in the time of cholera around college which was a book that fascinated me like uh, nothing else <laughs> and there not just that i also read uh, a lot of uh, you know in the sense contemporary indian books also like uh, uh, multiple ones by the new authors as well as you know uh, previous ones and but yeah as an author who's inspired me i'd say marcus definitely inspired me and uh, from indian authors uh, uh, i would say you know of course i read the god of small things and i could relate to that book a lot because i belong to kerala so the setting and everything uh, what roy uh, put out there was very relatable so which is a good book uh, and stuff so you know i if you notice i have a thing for descriptive books when i say this but that's it i also read uh, uh, you know young adult uh, literature fiction which is also good because uh, okay. they are quick entertaining books so i do read that also but yeah marcus and roy to an extent so fawaz is a very interesting guy like he has this uh, great appetite for books and like yeah in different channel and all and i can uh, relate to your story like uh, like i was also like a very voracious reader and i used to read lot of books and i think yeah some point during the reading time you feel like okay we can write something uh, out of yeah. like okay so uh, just uh, can you just tell me like i if the if the if the reader goes to your book uh, what, what what can they expect so uh, as i said so this is so uh, i'll give a little more context to that so i've written short stories so far and the idea of writing short stories as as you rightly said like everybody was a reader Want to write at some point of time, and uh, one thing that I wanted to get was flow. 
and while writing short stories somehow in a little span of things you get to you know you at least one thing that you get is the flow in the narrative which i know has improved for me since the first time i wrote to this book and in this book what uh, for me it is basically an experiment uh, in a different genre which i've never tried i mean uh, if you ask me which genre i would love to write any day it's a thriller genre i'm i'm currently working on my debut novel it's it's a thriller it's actually the manuscript is done i'm in talks with a couple of people so uh, thriller comes naturally to me because it's 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 a lot of research and uh, you know so when i write i would like to write with something which has got you know contemporary history into it uh, events that surround so i'm writing in indian context it's like uh... ಮಲಯಾಳಂ which is not a thriller which is i don't know what genre yeah, it is yeah but it has an interesting story right that is yeah it is an interesting story it is actually uh, the interesting fact about it is it is directed by an actor who is actually kind of a big star in the industry hey this is debut directorial so this guy himself uh, uh, has acted in probably 200 plus movies he's a young superstar himself and uh, he he directed it so, uh, so people would not expect from a debut director to pull off something of that sort Okay. i think uh, the, the detailing uh, the guy is done he's a voracious reader that so the director i'm talking about is a huge fan of uh, uh, ayn rand he he's a big fan of the book fountain head since we're talking about okay, books okay. everything i think okay, okay. Right. let us let us get back to the books so just for like yeah. this, uh, two movie guys meeting okay so yeah, yeah. Uh, can you just tell me like about your previous book like what uh, what was its genre and like uh, where where the readers can find your books sure so the legend of birbal's book the current one is available on amazon the previous two books uh, stories actually uh, alternate identities it was published in an anthology book by right india publishers so that book is available on amazon what it is is a thriller it was my first right so it's a thriller it's basically uh, it follows uh, a narrative where uh, a sex worker based in bangalore has ambitions to become a political leader and contest an election following but what happens in the process of her election is her political mentor passes away so then uh, obviously uh, every all the attention is on her there's an investigation surrounding her so it traces back into her history as how from a sex worker to politics and then obviously the surrounding narratives that happen it's based in bangalore and yeah, in the end obviously uh, it's like a... <laughs> yeah it yeah. is it so, is like from I mean, rags to riches type <laughs> yeah so again why is because my first job was in the public health sector okay and uh, we had worked with sex, uh, sex workers in terms of like you know uh, trying to find out uh, public health concerns uh, surrounding them uh, livelihood aspirations so multiple things uh, my job involved you know visiting these areas and like you know uh, trying to figure out public health solutions for that so hence i had some interaction with the group of people that led to you know creating a fictional account of it because you would see strong leaders coming out of there also and their stories are not told of course we have a societal taboo against speaking about people which is un- unfair uh, of course so hence that and the second one basically is a completely uh, commercial love story which is based out of kerala and uttarakhand in okay. which uh, two aspiring civil services are put in a situation it's got a background of the kedarnath floods uh a uh, uh, disclaimer the book released way before the movie kedarnath came out yeah, so the background on was yeah the book was in 2015 or not 15 i thought yeah around 15 i wrote it and published and it was part of a book first and now it's on jagannath books it's available okay. and yeah so the background of kedarnath floods uh, a love story uh, of course which also has some you know social or political aspects to it which i'll obviously put in which is okay. an area of interest so uh for us like uh, suppose uh, there is a person who is just uh, having a book idea in his mind and he wants to say, write a book uh-huh. okay so uh-huh. what do you give what is your suggestion for first time authors who are just beginning this journey for the first time authors uh, the main thing is to write it in the sense your first draft or your first writing is just to get it written on paper or on on a, on a laptop whatever so uh, what i would if you have an idea i would say try to you know add more subplots try to find subplots to it 
build on your characters and then try to see uh, i mean research to see in the context that you're putting in if your, your story will have a place a setting or your story will have a timeline i would say research on that place research on the timeline and setting to see if you can add you know subplots to it and if it can connect to reality in a sense i think it gives the readers a great thrill because you know they can identify if, if somebody writes a book uh, like like when uh, uh, a suitable boy was written it's a it's a simple story about finding a suitable boy but the whole subplots that the author added in terms of you know after partition what happened the forming of a government uh, land reform bill so these are things as readers you read and you uh, you know you're aware of the political uh, and the social connotations it adds a context to a very simple story about finding a suitable boy okay. so yeah so i have been researching just the time and the context uh, point okay adding the subplots right so that it will be useful for yeah. me also if i write my next book yeah. and uh, i mean i am no expert but this is what i do yeah. i mean this is what i do i mean i, I find but you see uh, like lot of people like they want to write their first book and like they are stuck like where to start and all this and it helps a lot like already a published author Uh, giving them some advice it is uh, very useful um okay so fawaz if people want to find you on social media or they want to uh, interact with you uh, like is there your so author page or something like that that we can drop in the link below yes yes definitely so uh, i am pretty active on social media i have a website okay. it's fawazdalil.com f a w a z j a l w a l.com you will find all the links there apart from that facebook i have a page uh which i update on a daily basis uh, with you know short stories i put like uh three word stories thriller shorts five page quick read so every, on a daily basis there are things that go on and the okay, same thing on instagram so so fawaz is at the rate of only just a short book writer he is a prolific writer he is writing almost every day so don't worry i will just drop in the links to his books and also to his facebook profile you can go and you can connect with him and like he he looks a very like uh, very generous guy who is willing to share his uh, uh, his strategies with you if you are first time writers he'll help you out and also the way he has come up with the book and again i just want to give a shout out like uh, very kind of read this book. I very read this book personally i have read this book personally okay. uh, and it is a very good book like uh, yeah it is a very good short read and you should definitely try it okay and so uh, how was, uh, one more thing like uh, okay some authors have this problem like okay we have started with a book now how should we uh, mm-hmm. uh, get the word out like so uh, any any idea that you any strategy that work for you that you want to uh, just convey to the audience yeah sure so uh, again uh, i i am still working on my debut book so you know uh, the selling of a complete full length book i am also in the process of learning what yeah, i am saying is about the let we will get you live again when when the book is complete uh-huh. yeah so from the legend of babel's bull uh, i can so i am i'm making sales on a weekly basis honestly the book features uh, you know in the top 100 and top 10 so what what i do is pretty simple the whole the previous thing you said the whole uh, thing of being very regular on social media it helps why because when you are writing on a daily basis you are appearing in you know your whatever you're putting hashtags and stuff you're appearing in a lot of people's feeds and some people consistently view you and then they start following you it's a very slow organic process i'm going to organic thing first and then obviously you know you can um, uh, put up ads about your book it works but that's a very slow process i have uh, tried you know uh, with facebook ads as well as uh, instagram ads and these two have been working really well for me and uh, when i say it, it's it's not that you do one ad you know you do a small minimum amount ad for a day it doesn't work you have to allocate a certain amount of budget for like on a weekly basis let the ad run for a couple of weeks you will see results and then you will see what is working you will see you will see growth happening and uh, you will see clicks coming but maybe the sales are not converting so i have like a weekly plan that i put and i use for facebook ads have been very good for me and insta i have started using i also started using google ads uh, which have been getting me uh, uh, a lot of help in you know uh, uh, getting people to my website because i feel and what I, what has been what has worked for me and which i think abdrar will agree is that building an email list is a kick ass way to get people to uh, engage with you and the website's reason was to uh, build an email list and i think abdrar will should do a webinar on you know building an email list because you yeah, I, i saw i saw your thing and so on. yeah it works it really works because i've got people on my email i've been trying to send on a weekly basis some things to them 
the stories you know i put up and everything and then when i put up a uh, an ad or like in a send a this thing for a book i see conversions happening and uh, and these are in a sense you know uh, organic conversions you're getting dedicated people reading your book so that i mean these are things that work for me email marketing as well as uh, facebook and instagram ads yeah they're brilliant okay guys we'll definitely put up a webinar on uh, building uh, your email Please. list and uh, yeah we have our facebook group towards 100k email list so you can join Amazing. there and it is an exclusive for the authors group so that uh, each of them we can build email list and also there will be email swaps also like if you have your book you can put in the other person's list and the other person will help you out other authors will help you out to put your list so yeah in this way like we want to build like the authors should be like a uh, we want a like very successful and like a wealthy and like good authors who 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 have that who will again get that incentive to produce much more beautiful work uh, in the future like that so that is the whole point of uh, having this uh, towards 100k and we also have a group called kindle publishing plus uh, so it is about uh, sharing all the kindle journey and all those things so guys do refer to your friends like that and like uh, and also let's like, just check out uh, fawaz jalil's book uh, on the, uh, on the birbal's book uh, and it is like it is also available on kindle unlimited right yes it is it is on kindle yeah it is available on kindle unlimited and it is a very very good read so it was a pleasure having you uh, fawaz on a, on the Same. likewise on, uh, likewise our channel this is called uh, author stories okay so yeah and we will be having lot of lot of other uh, authors uh, coming up with this and uh, our idea is like to help uh, uh, upcoming authors and also existing authors like to make a good uh, to be a profitable author so that they continue to produce like we want the good people the good guys to produce more uh, good stuff so uh, that is what we are looking and uh, who knows like who knows fawaz one day your book may convert into a movie script like that <laughs> okay and uh, we may even direct it so as we never know okay? i actually i actually uh, can give you an update i am uh, the the first uh, the book i am uh, almost talks to the publisher and so there is an organization which does book to adaptations there is a small discussion going and i think i'll update you first if that okay, happens okay okay but yeah uh, i may i may do a small role in that maybe <laughs> Yes. Okay. So, yes. Fawaz, like, uh, for the people who are there in the hundred k list, uh, do you want to tell? Uh, just yes. can you give them um, uh, what a message? Like, what you want to tell to them? Yeah, yeah. Just, just can give them. Yes. So, I think we are all. I mean, none of us are uh, experts in this. We are all figuring out our way how to, you know, of course, how to write, how to edit, how to create, how to publish, and of course, and how to sell. We are all figuring that out together. and uh, for me i think the the name of the group says it all a 100k email list because i don't think there is a better way for an author to sell his or her book than email marketing it it works it's it works wonders and because and also because you you have a dedicated audience who is listening to what you are sending out on a weekly or a monthly or whatever frequency you choose to and that that's that's the most engaged audience you get and so i i think uh, everybody as a fellow members i think let's all support and work with each other and uh, i'm not an expert you're not an expert but together we we can both or we are all can be experts and that's that's the beauty of writing and reading together i think and who knows someday everybody collaborates and writes a book together that's going to be fascinating <laughs> yeah, it's going to happen so guys uh, support our rockstar author uh, fawaz jalil he like he even writes thrillers also i didn't know about this and uh, he's uh-huh. uh, like when he gets the book okay we are going to do an interview uh, regarding that book and like it's uh, very yeah. kind of you very kind okay. so it was very nice yes. uh, meeting you fawaz so i will just drop it like guys in the description and uh, uh, you can just check out his books and also his social media profile you can connect with him and of Thank course you. we are uh, trying to bring like all the good stuff on uh, towards 100k email list and it is uh, it is also not only just like uh, Uh, you uh, authors will be sharing their own writing tips like as fawaz has shared like you can add out uh, you can add uh, uh, subplots uh, to your existing idea to uh, improve it like that so yeah we will getting we will also get into their personal journeys so take care like again very soon i think um, very soon we are going to have an another author interview that is going to come up and like uh, yeah fawaz congrats for your book and like uh, thank you thank you uh, all the best like uh, i wish that you, okay your uh, uh, book enters into already it is among top 100 or the, like that right so i think it will be a best yes. one day okay 
thank you thank you abran and thank you for okay, doing okay. this and i look forward to okay more guys do subscribe audience. to our channel right don't don't forget that we are bringing more author uh, interviews like that and also to our group towards uh, 100k list uh, okay you can tell to your other author friends regarding it so that yeah yeah we are trying to build a community where everyone succeeds right that is a good way of doing uh, living life okay okay guys okay take care okay ha huh? bye okay yeah bye thank you bye okay okay